Hi, this is Goggett, and this is the second part to our Navajo Pinto Beans and Texas Cornbread video. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be making the cornbread. Uh, when it comes to making cornbread, there's so many different ways to make it. Uh, some people put jalapenos in it, some people put cream corn in it. I mean, it's, it's really up to you how, how you like it and, and how you make it. Uh, some of what I don't put in it is sugar. I've, I've never put sugar in it because down, down here, if you come from the south, you just don't put sugar in cornbread. You do that if you're up north. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with it if you like sugar and you like kind of a sweet taste to your cornbread, and that's fine. Me, I don't like the sweet taste. I like just a basic, uh, uh, normal cornbread. And I'm going to show you the ingredients what you uh, need, uh, going to have to have in order to make this. Going to have to have two cups of cornmeal. It can be either uh, white or yellow. It doesn't matter. One and one half teaspoon of baking powder. One half teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of salt. One egg, uh, slightly beaten. That's what I've, I've already uh, beat this egg up a little bit. One and one half cups of buttermilk. And two uh, tablespoons of vegetable oil. And that's basically it. That's basically what, what you need to uh, uh, make this cornbread. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get started on making this cornbread and what I'm going to do. What I have here is my cast iron skillet, what I've uh, put some uh, shortening in. And I'll go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit more shortening in it because I don't think it's got enough. But I'm going to make my cornbread in this cast iron skillet. And you want it well greased. My, my grandmother always used to make it in a cast iron skillet like this. Like, just like, like I'm making. And it just, uh, what I'm putting on here is just regular Veg, uh, vegetable oil or, or short or shortening just some Crisco shortening that's what I'm using and from here what I'm going to do is I've, I've, I've preheated my oven to 450 degrees so what I'm going to do is put this skillet in the oven and let the skillet get hot you want a hot skillet whenever you're making this so that's what I'm going to do now is put it in the oven. When you bring it out, be sure that, that you watch it because it's, uh, it's hot. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of this stuff out of my way. So I can get busy doing what I need to do over here. What I've got here is I've I've, I've got my uh, two cups of cornmeal, one and one half teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt. And what I did is I, I've already measured this out and I put it in. What I'm going to do is just uh, mix it up here. Move this a little bit. Just going to take a whisk and kind of mix it up so it's thoroughly mixed.
you want to mix it up really good. I put this to the side for a minute. And like I say, I have uh, one egg, what I uh, beat up slightly. And in this egg, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil. We're also going to add our buttermilk to this. One, one and one half cups of buttermilk we're also going to add to this mixture here. Just kind of whisk it up together. And you're going to have the oil, what's going to happen is the oil is going to kind of float on here, uh, even with the buttermilk, so don't let that worry you know. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dry ingredients here and the, and the wet ingredients, and I'm going to mix it, them together. I'm going to pour this, pour this right in, in this mixture here and mix it together. Make sure this is mixed real well. You want this to come out similar to that of a, like, kind of like pancake batter, I guess you'd call it. That's what it's going to be, is uh, kind of like a pancake batter. Just make sure it's mixed real good. See how my pan's doing in the oven here real quick. Oh yeah, 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 yeah uh-huh. It's coming along. That's mixed up pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my uh, skillet. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm going to pull the skillet that I put in the oven at 450 degrees. It should be just about ready for uh, me to pour this cornbread in and, and heat it up. So that's what I'm going to do now. As you can see, the shortening has all melted on it, and it's 
good and hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour this batter right on the inside of this. And it's, it's good and hot because it's sizzling, I'll tell you what. And that's what we want. Okay, what I'm going to do, I've got it, the corn bed mixture in there and everything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in the, the oven. And I'm going to let this uh, uh, bake in the oven from anywhere from uh, 20 to 25 minutes at 450 degrees. Uh, it's going to take about that long for it to uh, uh, make and, and uh, have a secret to uh, tell them when it's done. It's, uh, whenever you take it out, you'll take a toothpick. My grandmother showed me how to do this years and years ago. You'll take a toothpick and put it in the cornbread and if it comes out clean it's done if it comes out uh with stuff on it like like the cornmeal on it then you need to put it in there a little bit more but uh i found out anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes is more than oh excuse me uh, more than enough time to uh, uh make this cornbread and i'll, I'll show you how it come out and everything uh, later on in, in, in the rest of the videos. I appreciate you watching the video uh, and I'll have the other videos uh, coming up. Uh, Y'all take care.